Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. Now in this video we are going to look at how to add a resources holidays or time off into your Microsoft project plan. So I have this software plan on screen at the moment and if I just take you to my resource sheet view I can see that I have two work resources John and Sally uh, existing. Let's go back to my Gantt chart. Now I have this task called Define Scope from the 27th of April to the 29th of April. And let's begin by assigning John to that task. I'm going to keep this brief just by using the resource name column. So John is now on that task. He is doing the defining of the scope between the 27th and the 29th of April. But let's imagine that John has got a some time off. He's got a day off on the 28th of April. So right in the middle of that task. To tell project that, that is the case, I can click on my project tab and change working time. And at the top here, this drop down list for the project calendar, I can click on that and change it to John's calendar. Now you'll only get a calendar up there if this resource is a work resource. They are a time based resource. You won't get this with materials or cost resources. Within here, in the bottom grid for exceptions, I can specify the 28th of April. I can maybe mention that is I'll just type holiday for a, the reason why. And there's now an exception. I can see on the 28th up here in the top right of the dialogue, it says it's a non-working day, which is exactly what I was going for. I could click the details button if maybe it was a half day, you know, maybe a shorter day or even a, a, a longer day to uh, completely flip that idea on its head. But let's click OK to confirm that. And that is now specified as a time off. Um, I can see projects notify me about all these movements, how that's affected all the other tasks. Because that task just took a day longer because John has that day off in the middle. Now it still keeps it at three days duration. It's still three like, days of effort. But it's going to take a day longer now because John is not there for one of those days. And we can see the movement of the dates and everything updated to reflect that. And that is how we do it. We may notice just a little like bonus on this video that over on the right hand side, obviously we can see what we need to see, the, the start and finish of the task, but there's no indicator there as to why it says three days in the table, but clearly takes like four working days in the chart and you may not wish to know why because obviously project has its reasons but what we could do over here to kind of interrogate this is I could right click somewhere in that Gantt chart click on non-working time and I can ask it to show John's calendar rather than the standard project calendar and this is probably just a temporary thing and I'm doing it now so that here we go Hopefully you can see that on the screen. I've got this greyed out bar from Thursday the 28th. So now it's a nice indicator that John has a non-working day on that day. And that must be the reason why uh, there seems to be a contradiction between the table and the chart. I can now switch that back to the proper project calendar. Which I'm sure you would uh, prefer the majority of the time rather than just John's. And that is how we can add resource kind of holidays into our Microsoft project plan. Hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel or check us out at computergaga.com.